guess. Um, hi, there. Okay, let's try this. Maybe this goes here? Don't don't break my stuff if you uh, if you don't if you don't mind. Hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, hi again. Uh, hi, hi. Sir. I wish you could have known father as we have. I don't agree with Father's decision, but I'll accept it. Enjoy your trip to the big city. It's done then? The transmitter has been modified. Everything is in place. It's ready to go when we are. Good. Once the reactor is online, we'll cut into their broadcast. I'll let you do the honors. This, my friends, is the moment we've all worked toward. After all your effort, the time has finally come to start our reactor. No longer will we be forced to compromise to survive. No more will we need worry about outpacing our resources. My father and I couldn't be more proud of what you have helped us accomplish. And we look forward to achieving even greater things in the future. The Institute is now truly mankind's best hope. Thank you. All of you. Son. His almost heart bleeding. 
After all those years of hard work, here we are. We've arrived. Look what you've made possible. Now that the reactor works, what's next for the Institute? We'll get to that. There's more work to be done before the Institute's future is guaranteed. The Directorate has convened a meeting about how to proceed. I'm not going to attend. You should be there as Director. advanced technology and we still can't cure the car. I wouldn't have minded making my own decision about coming here, you know? work bringing that rogue synth back. <sighs> May I be the first to welcome you, sir. We're looking forward to working with you. Happy to be here, Dr. Fillmore. I hope I do the position justice. I'm sure you will. Right now, we're all here because it's finally time to stand up for ourselves. Let's not be dramatic, Justin. There's nothing dramatic about it. We're in a position to push back, to assert ourselves here. That's what we've talked about all along. To bring you up to speed? Obviously, there are groups in the Commonwealth that stand in opposition to the Institute's goals. With the reactor now online, we have the ability to not only expand synth production, but to project power to a much greater degree. I'm sure the reactor will improve everyone's life. It's a great accomplishment. Yes, but it's not just that. The Directorate has agreed that steps must be taken to ensure our safety in the long run. Let's not beat around the bush. The Directorate has agreed that the Brotherhood of Steel needs to be eliminated. As the incoming Director, we felt it important to inform you of the decision and get your thoughts on it. So, where do you stand? I agree. We hit them hard, before they have time to react to our new position. Good. That's just what I wanted to hear. As director, it's up to you and how we focus our efforts in achieving this goal. We'd like your input on what direction we should take. Do we increase synth production or focus on weapons development? I've seen enough to know that weapons are the key to winning wars. Let's focus on weapons development. As you wish. The advanced systems folks will get to work immediately. Thank you very much for your time, sir. That's all we have for the moment. I believe Father wished to speak with you once our meeting concluded. Being the director of the Institute is a serious commitment. I hope you understand that. There you are. You've met with the Directorate. I assume they made their intentions known? 
it was difficult for them to reach the decision to engage in open hostility. What about you? Do you agree with their decision? It's the only way we can ensure the Institute's safety. That makes it the right thing to do. I'm glad you agree. None what comes next will be easy. That conviction may help keep us all going. You know, Father, it's no secret that you worked with the Railroad in order to first reach the Institute. The depth of your involvement with them has been called into question repeatedly. I'm sure you can guess by whom. The question is, where do you stand with them now? Do you count them amongst your allies? Does it matter? What are you getting at? I think it's obvious. For the Institute's position in the Commonwealth to be secure, the Railroad must be eliminated. Completely. As our primary above-ground operative and someone who has had previous contact with the Railroad, you are in the best position to carry this out. So what I'm getting at, simply, is this. Are you willing to destroy them? There has to be another solution here. Something less violent. I'm afraid the time for hesitation has passed. We must act decisively and we must act now. Will you do it? I can take care of them. Good. Good. I don't enjoy asking you to put yourself in harm's way, but this is so important. The railroad has left us. We've heard some very disturbing things about you. That you've been to the Institute. That you're actually working with those monsters. You're lucky we don't shoot you on sight.
You must have some faulty intel. I'm not working with them. Perhaps. But we can't afford to take any chances. Get the hell out of here, and don't come back. <clears throat> Just leave. like those races at Libertalia. Quite a handful. From what I hear, that rogue so, sent Libertalia. You were scheduled for maintenance duty in SRB last night. Anything you'd like to I'm not scared of the surface. Report, sir. I carried out my duties, as usual. Dr. Ao saw you Dr. Watson control. doesn't think I'm institute you know material. work is done. I am sorry. I know it was likely difficult for you. It was tough. Yeah. I assure you that there was no other way. Their fanaticism wouldn't have allowed it. There is obviously one final threat the Institute faces. What is it? What's this last threat? Well... Perhaps it's not that obvious after all. The Brotherhood of Steel covets technology and has made it clear that we cannot peacefully coexist. They will eventually come for us and attempt to take what we've spent so long creating. We need to destroy them before they can destroy us. You're right. We take the fight to them. I'm glad you agree. But the problem with the Brotherhood of Steel goes beyond the edges of the Commonwealth. It's not enough to destroy them here. There are more of them out there in the world, Father. 
and they too will come for us. You have something in mind if that happens. I'd like to prevent it from happening in the first place. We will show them that if they interfere with us, the very technology they value so highly will be turned against them. We will teach them that we can appear at a moment's notice, wherever we please, and they cannot ever stop us. They will know better than to ever interfere with us again. You seem pretty convinced this will work. The Institute is nothing if not thorough. Dr. Lee should be expecting you in her lab. She can fill you in on the details. Time is of the essence. We are honored to welcome you here. At last, we have power adequate to our needs. Dr. Lee. What can I do for you? The Brotherhood needs to be taken down, and it needs to be done now. All right, all right. Calm down. Well, let's get to it. Dr. Orman, over here, please. It's time. What now? I'm still working over the code that the robotics sent over. The algorithm is a mess. It's not even close to peak efficiency. It would seem we've run out of time. Let's go. We're going to cover the basics of the operation as it stands now. Dr. Orman has done most of the prep work, so I'll let her explain. Okay, thanks. Is this really exciting, or is it just me? So, you know that the Brotherhood's main operation is at the airport, right? I'm aware of that, yes. Okay, good. If they were a little less intelligent, we wouldn't even be talking about this. We'd have just swarmed them with synths. But they're not idiots. They've managed to generate an EM field that's messing with our ability to relay in. So, we just relay onto the airship and sabotage it. Won't do us any good. There's no direct connection between their robot and the airship. So the immediate area around their encampment is a no-go. They don't, however, have the entire airport covered. We can relay you in to a point at the edge of the airport, and then you can get in and take down the generators. We'll have the element of surprise, if nothing else. Exactly. You'll have surprise on your side. Should give you some time before they can organize a real defense. For every generator you take down, it means we can start relaying in synths, giving you even more of an advantage. And... Oh! I almost forgot. Take these. Oh, thanks. Grenades. Sure, I can always use grenades. No, no, they're not grenades. This thing, and I haven't come up with a good name for it yet, it basically deploys a beacon marker. Wherever they land, we can lock onto them and relay synths directly to that position. If there's a hot spot, you can drop synths right on it. We've only got a few of these, so put them to good use. Don't go tossing them into the bay. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm impressed. I know, right? I mean... Thanks. I thought it was neat. But still, it's just to help. Your real job will be to reach Liberty Prime. You know the deal with that, right? I don't need the details. Well, you kind of do. Because it's the whole point of this. Dr. Lee? Yes, well, the Brotherhood discovered him. An old pre-war military project that never saw the light of day due to power problems that couldn't be solved. With my assistance, they were able to get his reactor running and use him against their enemies. That's quite an achievement. In objective terms, yes, it was. But the things I went through, that project included, ultimately caused me to seek out something better. It's what led me to the Commonwealth and to the Institute. The point here is that in designing the power system for the robot, I had full knowledge of every onboard system. I know exactly what it is capable of and precisely how to exploit those capabilities. We've taken everything we know, made a few modifications based on what we think they've done with it in the past 10 years, and, this part was my idea, uploaded the whole thing into a modified synth capable of delivering the virus directly into Liberty Prime. The little guy is going to be exposed and vulnerable, so you'll have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't get shot, you know? What exactly is this virus going to do for us? Well, if nothing else, it'll take over the weapon systems and establish their airship as a primary target. You can figure out what happens next. So your end goal is ultimately pretty simple. Get to the robot, 
Then hold the position while the synth does his thing. Oh, and don't worry. We'll pull you out of there before everything explodes. If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Otherwise, they'll be waiting for you in the relay room. No questions. Let's do this. Very well. Good luck to you. Dr. Lee might not show it, but I can tell she's excited about having the reactor on the... Terminal's gotta be somewhere. done remarkable things. I would not exist were it not for him. Reporting status. All functions normal. Unit X688 speaks highly of your combat skills. J522 around. He didn't show up for duty today. I can't seem to find him. Did you check robotics? You were probably scheduled.
intruder. Identify. Mercy for the Institute! Damn it! He's back to him! Come here! Let me end okay. your suffering!
sensors. Leave no survivors. No way I could pick this. Please stand still. A regrettable occurrence. I don't think I can pick this.
Scanning. Subject identified. Finalizing upload in five, four, three, two, one. Operation complete. Shutting down. Updated tactical assessment. Red Chinese presence detected. Aerial incursion by communist forces cannot succeed. Initiating directive 739. Five. Destroy all communists. Excuse me. Pardon me, sir. Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. Hello, Sean. Ah. Uh, there you are. I've already heard the news. But of course, you wouldn't be here if it weren't a success. I'm glad it worked, but... I'm glad you're safe. We're all safe now. For now, yes. But... There will always be threats. You must remain vigilant. Ali has always been loyal to the Institute. And to me, you can rely on her for help. Once I'm gone, it's all up to you. Isn't there some other way? Another treatment that can help you? Nothing permanent, no. The inevitable could be delayed, but... at increasingly terrible cost, I simply decided... It wasn't worth it. Don't worry about me. You need to look ahead. Focus on the future. Our time together has been... strange, hasn't it? I spent years wondering what you were like. Thinking about all we missed out on. I want you to know that... I'm grateful for the time we've had. I'm glad I found you. As am I. Thank you. Father, you've helped a boy achieve his dreams. I think... I think I'd like to sleep now. I've lost Sean. All over again. I close my eyes, I see my life before all of this. 
before the bombs. Everything can change in an instant, and the future you plan for yourself shifts whether or not you're ready. At some point, it happens to all of us. This wasn't the world I wanted, but it was the one I found myself in. The Commonwealth. My home. Ripped apart and put back together. I thought, I hoped, I could find my family, cheat time, make us whole again. The way we were. But now I know. I know I can't go back. I know the world has changed. That the road ahead will be hard. This time, I'm ready. Because I know war. War never changes.